what is up y'all today we have an exciting video coming today it is snowing outside right now so you can't really see it through the window but it's not really snowing there's snow on the ground it was snowing this morning but it's like sleeting right now so that is my one concern with taking the car out is that it might be icy so i don't know there's a little hill it's not too big of a hill in my neighborhood but i'm not sure if i'm going to be able to get the car up it because I have Michelin Pilot Cup 2s. I don't, I don't know why I can't. I always forget what they're called when I need to say it. I know what they're called, but when I need to say it, I forget. But I have those, so they're a performance tire. So they're not probably going to do good in the snow as it already is. So to take them in ice, I am not too sure. So what we are going to do is we're going to take the full wheeler out. And we're gonna go have some fun on that and then if i feel like we're good to go then we're taking the car out and we're gonna do some very legal stuff like drive the speed limit and be very safe but i'm ready we got the camera gear ready we got the camera we got the gopro charging hopefully i can get some good shots for y'all today um i'm a lone survivor out here so i'm just doing it by myself so i don't have a camera person i wish i had a camera person right now or, or somebody close by that i could be like yo come on but i don't i just moved and so i don't i don't know too many people around here so i'll probably keep it that way too but I, don't, I, don't know. I don't know but that's besides the fact but we're gonna jump straight into this video Gotta go pull the car out, actually. I guess that might be a first test. I gotta pull the car out to get the four-wheeler out. So we'll see how it does right then and there, and then go from there. But let's hop downstairs. Well, we're starting off golden with the, the broken tail light. Just wonderful. It's just, just a great way to start. We gotta have some little fun with bubs out here. I can't even get him off the chain. Oh, yes, I can. Hey! Alright y'all, so we are back in the house. No, I did not take the car out because I could barely get the full wheel not barely. I could get the four wheeler down the road, but it was just sliding really, really easy. And with me having basically summer tires on the car, I did not think it was a good idea, nor do I think I would be able to get up the little hill at the end of our entrance. So it just wasn't going to work. So I'm sorry there's not going to be car content in this one, but there is a little bit of full wheeler content. And I am also going to do the story time on <laughs> how I, <laughs> I nailed my dad's truck. And I'm frustrated to say the least, but it is what it is. I've already 
got a new one on the way. Should be here about the 26th or sometime around that. So, how did that even happen? How did I back into the truck with the four wheeler? Well, the garage is pretty tight as it is, and and the four wheeler is it's tough to get out in general. So, what what happened was sorry, he wanted in here, and now he wants out. Typical dog move. He wants wines to get in and then wines to get out. So, how it all started. So, I started the four wheeler and got it all warmed up and stuff like that. And I. And I put it in reverse and started to back up a little bit. And I realized that it was going to be really tough to get it out. So, I pulled my dad's truck forward a little bit and. I should have pulled it forward more, but I pulled it forward a little bit, and I thought it was enough at the time. So I was backing the four-wheeler up, and I was paying attention, trying not to hit my car, and backing up. And I looked back, made sure I had enough room, and I thought I had enough room. And what happened was, when you're in reverse, the... I have a dog you know my pain they just get into everything but what happened at that point was when you are in reverse on the four-wheeler it's an 850 so when you're in reverse it's really jumpy well I thought I would just feather the throttle a little more get back a little more and I'd be able to turn well that wasn't the case I feathered the throttle and it jerked back so it smacked the hell out of the taillight and it cracked the tail light, as you see in the video. That it just shattered that back tail light. Thankfully, that it it was just like the back bash bar. So and it sits up tall, so it didn't hit the bumper or any part, any other part of the vehicle. But it it cracked the tail light, and you'll see just in a minute. I just ordered another one from eBay because if they're brand new, I think they're $750 for just one tail light. Because it is the LED, of course, it had to be one of the most expensive ones. And so I just ordered one from eBay because it, that, it, that one is done. I wish it was a cover, but when I looked, I didn't see any covers or anything like that. So I just said, screw it, I'll just get the whole thing. And four hundred dollars later, we have a tail light coming in on the twenty sixth. It should be here by the twenty sixth. Um, I wrote him a message. I was like, I just, I just uh, back to my dad's tail light. I need this shipped as soon as possible if you can because, uh, man, I it was one hundred percent my fault too, and I should have been more careful with it and maybe move the car forward just a little bit more i swear if i would have moved that move the truck six inches more i would have been perfect but at the end of the day it is what it is it's just money i guess but there's one last car part that i can buy now so that's the story time on the truck if you were wondering because you just saw it in the the video that i smacked it and this is going to be a short video in general. It's so cold outside and it's really hard to record, especially when it's sleeting and smacking me in the face. So there's not much footage. Uh, so I just, I, it is what it is today. That's what it's going to be. Um, Y'all get a little bit of content out of it. And it was really fun riding out there. I I should have gotten more, but like I said, most of this, it is what it is. So I hope y'all like the video, and y'all gotta subscribe now. Y'all gotta help me out, like this video, blow it up, do something, because I, I need that $400 back. <laughs> Just burning holes in my pocket by doing stupid things. I, I shouldn't have did it. I should have been more careful. I, I needed to do it, but I should have been more careful. So, y'all really got to support me now, eh? Please subscribe. Like, I am begging you. No, I'm not really begging you. Just, just do it.
if you can, if you want, I know you can, you're watching this, just please, okay, just do it, please, I'm gonna break down and cry, I'm really not going to, but, it helped me a lot if y'all would just like and subscribe, anyways, and I could also make a little bit of money off of it, and maybe get, uh, that $400 back, because I, I need it, because I don't want to pay for that. I mean, um, anyways, I want to thank y'all for watching, and I hope y'all like this video and this, what everything that happened, and uh, peace.